Back in, you know, August 2020, uh, we had a small gathering on Plum Island. We decided to get married instead of postponing the day because uh, much like everyone in this room, um, virus had taken so much from everyone. And we decided that the virus would not take our love and our special day from us. John Paula, you'll be proud to know that I did some math and I discovered that it's been 11 years of birthdays, of celebrations. In our early years together, you captivated me with your curiosity, your playfulness, and childlike wonder. Always asking why and never settling for the answer just because. My love, I'm so happy to be standing with you here again. Over the past two and a half years, you have taught me so many things that I didn't even know there was to learn, like how to relax on the couch, or that a single queenside bed need 11 pillows. <laughs> Over the past two years, some of my favorite times that we've had together are exercising with our dog and snuggling on the couch, doing board questions together, being nerds that we are. Since our original vows, you have accomplished so many things and pushed me to continue to be a better person. You are beyond intelligent, focused, and determined. You challenge me to challenge myself and continually inspire me with your loving, compassionate, and honest integrity. It is you and us together that truly makes me a better person. We have always focused on our three lives together, mine, yours, and ours, each one just as important as the others. Friends and family, let me officially introduce you to this beautiful couple, Victoria and Giampaolo Rufo, partners in love. To Victoria and John Paula, we're here today to celebrate again after a very scary time. Um, however, a silver lining shines brightest in the dark, and that silver lining is that love will always prevail over fear and disease and unrest. You know, I couldn't be happy for you guys, Victoria. You've always been like you know another sister to me, and you are right. You are pretty amazing. You're willing to marry my brother not once but twice. <laughs> that takes dedication more than anything else. It's like that Shel Silverstein book, Missing Piece. Together, they absolutely complete each other.